Um, and then, really the highlight of this is there's a rainfall shower head in the shower. We're here for our three night stay at Jellystone Delaware Beaches. It's our first time in one of their safari tents that came in. These uh, were put up this, during the summer this year, so they're still pretty new uh, accommodations. There's a bathroom inside, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll obviously go in and take a look around soon. But just to get the lay of the land, as we always do, you see there are the um, site numbers. So we are 53 where the tent is. Um, and then 54 is a very tight RV spot next to us. Um, but we got plenty of space. We'll actually walk around here. Uh, we'll swing around first. Uh, that's towards the front of the park there, where everything is here at this campground. Uh, it lo might look like a hike, but it's really not much of a walk. Um, all the um, activities and amenities or everything are at the front of the campground here for the most part. And we'll swing around. See, this side, we actually have plenty of outdoor space. It runs along the side here. So our fire ring is here. Um, got all that green grass on the side next to that fence. And then our picnic table is up here you see there's lots of space here on the outside um under cover that's not supposed to rain all this weekend so um the cover is not much of an issue weather's supposed to be beautiful but it is nice if you were here you know in the hot sun or during rain there are two chairs on the outside and a little table as well and we'll walk inside this is a zippered entrance hi hello so we have a little kitchenette with a sink, with microwave, a little two burner cooktop, storage space. You can see Ab's loading up our cold stuff here um, with a, it's a mini fridge. So you've got a small freezer and a small fridge. But again, for three nights, uh, plenty of room for us. This side, uh, futon here. And a baby. And a baby. There's Emily. Oh, big smile. There'll be plenty of uh, space for her pack and play out here. There's just a small coffee table here that we can move. Um, that won't be an issue. There is a standalone AC. There is no heat. It is supposed to go down in the 40s a couple nights of our stay, but this uh, the canvas is pretty thick. Um, I think we'll be fine. Uh, it's supposed to be warm today and tomorrow. We'll keep some of the warmth in. Uh, some storage shelves there. Around the corner here, there's two uh, bunks. Uh, this is... Um, for Ab and uh, Zach will be joining us too uh, tomorrow. We'll sleep in here. A little bit of shelves right there. You see an outlet on the uh, light switch on the wall. There's a light in there and outlet down there. We'll come back to the bathroom. We'll save that for last. Uh, there's the main bed right here that we will be in. Light in here as well. Small side table and outlet there. And a nice big space here um, for clothes. In fact, yeah, there's even a hanging rack there. I didn't bring any hangers. Um, we actually can hang clothes up there if you'd like. And then the bathroom here, right in the middle, is actually really nice. Um, you've got the sink there. A little bit of storage underneath. Uh, just a flat mirror on the wall. No medicine cabinet in this unit. Uh, light up there. Toilet, obviously. Um, and then... Really, the highlight of this is there's a rainfall shower head in the shower. There's also a handheld if you prefer that. So the shower is very nice um, in this unit. So that is, this is um, Safari Tent 53. There are six units here all together. We are the one closest to the front of the park, but it doesn't really make much of a difference because all six are in a row.